Hi everyone, my name is Julie Sebi. I write the Analytics Corner blog that focuses on data engineering, analytics, and visualization with Alteryx and Spotfire. You can find my site at the URL shown on the screen. A few weeks ago, I posted on how to use user constants to speed up workflow development. Shortly after I started using user constants, I realized the ways in which they were limited. Fortunately, I learned to use the detour tool from one of my coworkers. So in this video, I'll show you how the detour tool can be a better option where user constants fail. And just so I'm clear, what I'm going to do here is cut down on long data load times. I work in the oil and gas industry and I build workflows that pull in years and years of data for thousands of wells. And I need that data to come in quickly in order to be efficient in my work. Now, I don't always need data for all wells. Often data for one well will suffice to help me build out my workflows. Now, I was using user constants, which you can find by clicking on your canvas and going to the workflow tab. And here you can see that I've created two user constants, one called filter status and one called well name. And I was incorporating these in the filter tools. If you want to read about user constants, I've placed the link to that post in the description below. Now, the problem with user constants is that you still have to load all of the data to even get to the filter tool that you're using. For some of my workflows, this was okay, but not for all of them. This one in particular is quite large and I needed a better solution. The heart of this workflow is two dynamic queries. This one here on top is querying monthly production data for all of my wells. And this one on bottom is querying daily production for all of my wells. The dynamic part of this is the date range. So let's just walk through the workflow. I have this text input tool that isn't really doing anything. It's really just providing a starting input. And then in my formula tool, I am calculating my query date ranges. You can see the start monthly data poll, end monthly data poll, and start daily data poll, end daily data poll. And so these dates are being fed into my dynamic queries. What the detour tool does is provides a direction for my data flow. Its configuration is incredibly simple. It's just one checkbox. So if I check the box, all of my data goes to the right, if I don't check the box, all of my data goes to the left. And that's why you see duplications of my dynamic queries. The one on the top, as I previously indicated, queries data for all of my wells, and the one on the bottom will only query data for one particular well. You can see I have a query condition here based on the well name. So if I want the super fast and speedy version, I just check the box and my query runs quickly, or I uncheck it to get a full data set. This helps me speed up development of my workflows without having to bring in absolutely all of my data. And that wraps up this post. Now you know how to use detour tools. If you enjoyed the content and found it useful, please subscribe to my YouTube channel or share the link on LinkedIn. Thank you.